Good day everyone. This week we'll be looking at listening. First, we'll look at the difference between hearing and listening. I bet every one of you have come across the word hear and listen. But what is the difference between hearing and listening? Okay, hearing is basically one of your senses. Okay, one of your five senses. It is actually the action of the sound entering your ears. It is an inactive process. What do I mean by inactive process is you don't focus, okay? You might be doing your work, you might be completing your assignment, your tasks and whatnot, and you notice or you are aware that there's sounds at the back background, but you don't focus on what sound it is and whatnot. While listening is where you concentrate on that sound, you pay attention to the sound, you want to know what sound is that. Okay, for example, if you listen to a lecture, you are paying attention, you're concentrating. It is an active process because you want to make meaning out of it. Okay, you want to understand. So that's the difference between hearing and listening. Now, listening is always an active process. It is the most critical skill in effective communication. If you actively listen, then you're able to focus on what the speaker is trying to say understand the message and then you know how to respond appropriately to the message that the speaker is trying to say to you. Now, how do we listen effectively? Okay, so it comes from the word listen. Number one, you need to be interested in that conversation, in that communication. If you're not interested, you'll not be able to understand. Okay, number one, you need to be interested. Number two, you must be involved in that communication, okay, by responding. You need to respond to that communication. If you're not involved in that communication, then you will not be able, that is, that is not considered as communicating, okay. Number next is as, which is you need to stay in the communication, what does it mean is you stay to the topic, okay? If your speaker is talking about um, his fear of um, about something, about his financial status and whatnot, then you need to stay in the on focus, okay, on the com on that particular topic. You don't go out of the topic talking about sports, for example, when the person is talking about financial um, status and whatnot, okay? So stay in that communication. Next is. You need to also test your understanding. Do you really understand what the speaker is trying to say? If you don't understand, then you need to evaluate. Then you need to ask. You need to clarify. Next is you evaluate the message. Is this is this message or is this conversation uh, for me? Do I really need to be here in this conversation? If it's not, then you need then you can leave. Okay, say that I'm not interested in this conversation. Then you can actually leave politely. Okay, next is neutralize your feeling, which means you cannot have any biasness towards the speaker. Okay, you cannot have prejudice, biasness. You need to be neutral when you listen to the speaker trying to say or send a message to you. So basically, this is um, listening and this is how you actively listen.